In this video, you are going to learn how to build an online business with Google Working Space. So, for this video, you are going to learn how to set up Google Working Space and build a custom domain email and then start your business. Hi, my name is Nasim from nasimreels.com and I am a top rated freelancer. So, if you are not so technical to set up your Google Working Space, then you can contact me. And don't forget to check this video description because I will give all the contact information on there. Let's back to this topic and see how to set up Google Workspace. First of all, open your browser and search on Google, Google Workspace. If you search type Google Workspace, then you will see. So this is the Google Workspace website, which is workspace.google.com. And first of all need to check out the pricing okay so google is now offering gmini which is ai and you can flexibly open your business and optimize with ai and everything you can do with quickly which is pretty cool you can check it out but let's check the pricing because this is not free you need to spend this amount of money with this specific business plan but and you can see gmini is new collected here and we just need to use the starter pack and first of all we need to pick the business name so business main name actually you can uh, choose any one uh, if you have already established business you can type the name here but for my business i am completely beginner and actually this is my demo business i just giving you an example how you can set up so this is another service i want to pick and this is just you and you can choose your region i just use bangladesh and then next and then you can see the first name last name and current email address you have to input i just use my name which is first name Nasim and second name Reza and email address I just want to use my this demo working email address so if I open new tab and copy this email address which is helpmenr at the gmail.com and then next and now you can see you can choose two type of option first of all with your company com and you can also use your gmail but always i recommend to pick your company email address with domain this is the more professional for your business and you can see on tpic cloud storage you will get with gmail so i am picking the custom domain so here you can see yes i have one domain and now i need one so google actually if you select no i don't have domain google actually offer you the domain service which is 12 dollar per year any kind of dual domain okay so i just don't want to buy the domain from google workspace because i have the cheaper one which is i prefer namesheet or hostinger for etc you will check this video description i will give you some example you can buy the cheap domain from there with the coupon code and you can see i am using namesheep and i already have some domain and this is the demo domain i am inputting here so this is actually my demo domain it is not my real business so that's why i am picking this domain for using this tutorial only and here you can see you need to pick your username that actually your email address it's your will be your administrative email address i just pick nasim and select a password so you can of course you should choose the stronger password and then capture and agree and continue i don't want to save this password with my browser and here you can see it's taking few seconds and taking me on the next page okay so yeah finally it's on the next page and 
my google workspace is ready and it's offering the business starter okay so which actually 6.48 dollar and i will use 40 day free trial okay but if you want to use that 40 day free, free trial you need to input your billing address i just skip this part because of the security purpose i hope this is not a very complicated form you can just simply input and here you can see the google ai which is 16 eight dollar it's offering just i don't need it i just skip for now if you want you can use that which is pretty cool for writing email replaying email etc so now you can see welcome your new account so that's mean google admin console is now ready if i hit the next and open the browser and you can see this is actually giving me to protect your domain and here is the three step that i need to follow to active my custom gmail so first of all protect your domain so here you can see this domain google already understand it speak from namesheep so that's why it's giving me the documentation from namesheep so it's very very easy documentation you just need to follow your namesheep and go to uh, advanced dns and then just need to one record and which is at the right of and then this text form i just do it quickly and for security purpose i don't want to share my namesheep it's a quick documented i think you can understand and then you can see it's a great job my domain is now protected and now hit the continue button okay when you i hit the continue button it's a create new user so you i don't want to use new user because if i make new user it will charge another six dollar plus something so that's why i am ready to active my gmail address so this is another guide to activate the gmail address just you need to simply one thing mailing setting and just select gmail and then activate gmail i did that and then hit that button and it's taking few minutes to do that you should wait don't close this window because it will require few time and you can see everything google is checking and it's also getting time and i believe it will finish within five minutes okay so when you have uh, when it's done now you can see it's a great job or its record is ready and now hit the next and next it's a use new user but i just want to skip for now if i need i will make it later so skip for now and now you can see here is the 14 recommendation if you want you can follow everything so it, it it will be helpful to you if you are complete beginner you can understand what the feature google workspace actually offer and i just quickly mark everything done and then see your apps and you can see our admin console and our gmail is ready and we just need to complete this form so this is the gmail address that we are inputted on the first time for current email so on that you can see it's a login your administrator account so i just want to add new account on this google chrome so that's why i just input the administrator email address which is nasim at the rate my domain okay so just i want to input which is admin uh, sorry it's uh, will be the nasim so just type nasim and input my domain name so add, uh, my domain name is this one and then hit the next and now the password i inputted in the first you need to of course uh, keep your password in save and secure and 
input here and now you can see google say open a new chrome profile i want to do that because it will be quite helpful for a specific workspace and now it's pretty ready yeah it say my this is my inner service and if i show you the gmail address then i just need to on go to gmail from the apps and you can see my gmail is opening and also if i want to show you the drive and this is the gmail you can see now my gmail is ready which is custom gmail uh, and it's i uh, will be professional for your business and the drive say i can use 90 gb which is pretty good for startup and that's it that's all for today if you found this video was useful then hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more video from me then consider subscribing to this channel because it will help me to continue working on this channel. my name is nasim and i will see you on the next video till then bye have a good day